Great. Well, thank you, Meredith, and uh, welcome everyone and good morning. I uh, wish I was there. Uh, well, I wish we were all there together in person. So just to step back for a second, um, I work for the Democracy Collaborative. The Democracy Collaborative is, an, is a national nonprofit. We're in our 20th year and we are working to offer an alternative economic vision for our current political economy and the community wealth building pathways to build that democratic small d economy. And for us, we see one of the key components or of the place-based assets that we think is possible to be leveraged to build more community wealth are anchor institutions, which are uh, nonprofit or public institutions with an embedded social mission. They're rooted in place uh, so they're a form of sticky capital and they are significant economic engines. The opportunity comes from creating, in essence, a new multi-sector collaboration that's focused not just on doing good things and, and charity, which I think a lot of these institutions have done, but really thinking differently about how their role in the economy um, can create economic opportunity and disrupt uh, the systemic inequities that have been reinforced within these institutions over time. The, the opportunity is to adopt and embrace the anchor mission, which is to lean into that opportunity from that economic power, from the significant human capital uh, that exists within these institutions, and to leverage that in authentic partnership with community to mutually benefit the long-term well-being of both. And I think that's where we are just at the beginning. I would offer that it has the university sector has been overtaken by the, the healthcare sector in terms of embracing this idea as more than an idea, but as an approach. And this is a this is our purpose, and this is something that we have uh, refined actually in in just the last couple of months to I think be more explicit about what we're up to. And we really do want to incubate and scale strategies that make the anchor mission a healthcare sector priority, and to define what is the leadership standard. Um, we've grown a lot. We started with 11 systems, we're actually at 50 today, because the growth has been uh, really exciting and really tremendous. And um, now our work is to mobilize that growth and that energy into, into collective impact. So if we start to ask questions like, what percentage of your employees are at living wage? Um, and we start to ask questions about you know, what percentage of your vendors' employees are at that living wage, the ripple effect of just asking these questions and then the, the changes in policies that it can occur are, are tremendous. So a lot of what we've been talking about in terms of taking this from an idea to a strategy is how are we actually setting a new table internally within institutions in which these different departments that historically have not talked to each other begin to collaborate in new ways. The core strategies that we talk about in the Healthcare Anchor Network are the opportunity to leverage the economic assets of institutions. So they're hiring and workforce development. In particular, we talk about not just creating career pathways internally, but how are we actually connecting to those neighborhoods that haven't been able to get past hiring processes because of how um, our systems are structured. With inclusive uh, local sourcing, something similar, how are we not overlooking the existing businesses in our community that can provide certain goods and services and then recognizing that we might have capacity shortages in certain areas and where can we uh, make our supply chain more resilient and responsive to emergencies and in that process center issues of social impact like supporting minority and women-owned businesses like prioritizing sustainability. And then lastly, place-based investing. I was talking about impact investing and for the, us, this is really about uh, thinking about the significant reserves that uh, many institutions have. And of course, in this moment with the pandemic, they're under stress. Uh, but even so, we're seeing uh, some of our healthcare anchor network partners still think about how the small percentage of dollars that they've set aside for impact investing can help support key um, efforts in the community. And Bon Secours Mercy Health was uh, that system in, in the Richmond area. and how they thoughtfully brought some grant dollars, some investment dollars, and helped to make a project happen that wouldn't have happened just through investment dollars or just through grant dollars. The next stage in evolution of this idea is systems that are building up strategies in all of these areas. And this is actually a chart uh, that Rush University Medical Center developed and that we published together in a playbook 
uh, that's accessible on uh, healthcareanchor.network and on our resource page. And we are tracking this if that's a question folks have had because we want to be able to see the changes over time. So again, appreciate the opportunity to start the conversation today.